There is no limit to the proximity we can sense in this video. Hi, I'm Mike. Sometimes parts and components are very similar to each other, but there are key differences between them that result in different applications for each. In each episode of this video series from Radwell TV, we compare parts that are similar to each other but also have their differences. Today I will be explaining the similarities and differences between a limit switch and a proximity sensor. The biggest similarity between these two devices is that they are both used to sense the presence or absence of objects. A proximity sensor is used to detect the presence or absence as well as position, direction, velocity, and physical properties of an object without physical contact. A proximity sensor operates by emitting an electromagnetic field or beam. It will look for changes in the field or return signal. There are five types of proximity sensors that vary depending upon the application, environment, and how they detect an object. These are inductive, optical, capacitive, magnetic, and ultrasonic proximity sensors. Proximity sensors are used in a vast amount of industrial applications. Automated production lines, conveyor systems, and robots use them for object detection, position, inspection, and counting. A limit switch is an electromechanical contact sensor used to detect the presences or absences of an object for controlling machinery or to count passing objects. There are four types of limit switches, whisker, roller, lever, and plunger. Each will operate on similar principles with the same end goal in mind. A limit switch will operate through an actuator mechanically linked to an electrical switch. When an object contacts the actuator of the limit switch, a signal will be sent to the electrical contacts within the contact block. The signal will either open or close the electrical connections. Limit switches can be found in everyday applications. Refrigerator lights turning on when the door is open, or a garage door coming to a stop when the switch is contacted. In industrial automation, limit switches can be used on conveyors to count individual items or ensure correct positions. 3D printers even use limit switches to detect the position of the extruder. The biggest difference between the two is that proximity sensors are non-contact sensors, while limit switches are contact sensors. This means proximity sensors do not come into contact with the object they are working with, while a limit switch comes into contact with it. In addition, when these two switches are used for position detection, limit switches operate in one direction, while proximity sensors can operate in two-way position detection. Though proximity sensors are beginning to take over the role of limit switches, both have their advantages and disadvantages. When it comes to sensing the presence or absence of objects, which sensor is best suited depends upon the need and application. Thanks for watching this Compare the Parts episode. For information about Radwell, visit radwell.com or connect with us on social media.